Hi everyone, I'm Sav from Smart and Secure and today we're going to be doing a short tutorial on how to pair your Nakara E1 hub with your Android device. So to do this, we're going to need a Nakara E1 hub, an Android device and a USB outlet. So let's get started by plugging in the E1 hub. The LED should become illuminated. We'll then install the Akara Home app on the Android device. Once that's downloaded, click open. You can skip these bits and click start. Make sure you agree to the terms of service. Select your region. And if you haven't already signed up, just click the sign up button, enter your email address and click I have read the terms of service. Demo purposes, I've already signed up to the Akara app, so I'll use my account. So make sure you click go to enable on push message notification. Click allow. And now it's asking us for access to our location. If you want to utilize certain features within the Akara app, you will have to accept this. So I'm going to click while using the app. Click next and next again, and then click got it. So now we're about to pair our E1 device. So click plus in the top right hand corner, click add accessory, select the gateway which is a hub E1. So now it's asking us to make sure that the hub is powered and ready to connect and that the yellow light is blinking. As you can see from ours, it is ready, but if yours isn't blinking, just hold the button for roughly five seconds and release it. The hub should begin to blink. Click next. So now it's searched for the device and it has found it. It's now asking us to select the Wi-Fi we want to put the hub on. If you're having trouble connecting the Akara hub to the Wi-Fi network, this is likely down to the fact that the Akara hubs require a 2.4 gigahertz connection. You'll have to temporarily disable the five gigahertz option, but don't worry, you can re-enable this option once you've paired the hub. The process for disabling the five gigahertz option varies depending on your network provider. We've included some short guides for the most common network providers in the description below. And click connect. So now the device is connecting to the network. Just bear with it a few moments while it does this. Now we want to select the location. So for demo, we're going to put it in the living room. Click next. You can rename the hub. Um, I'm just going to call it an E1 hub. And you can add, add it to the home page. And click done. So now this, this is showing the device is online and in, in the living room. We can click on the actual device to see some more settings. So what we need to do first is to make sure that the version of firmware is up to date. So if we just click upgrade. Just make sure you do this before beginning to do anything else or trying to add products to the device. It sometimes take up to a minute or two to actually download the latest firmware onto the device. So once it's reached 99%, you may find that it won't go to 100%, but the screen may flash with the upgrade sign. Just click the back button, click on version again, and just check that the, the firmware is up to date. Now what I would advise doing is pulling down on the screen or checking for an upgrade, and it is telling us that it is now up to date. So that has installed the new firmware on there. So now what we can do is we can have a look at some more of the settings that the, the hub has. So go to more settings, You've got some settings here which show you preventing accidental deletion settings. Um, this is just in case someone accidentally deletes the device and you lose all of your data. De device offline notification. Again, if the device does lose Wi-Fi, it can send you a short notification. So we've got Wi-Fi repeater. So placing the hub within one of those dead zones in your house may help to improve the signal. You can identify the device and you can also turn off the indicator light, so that's a little flashing light on the front. So now let's go back to the home page and check the hub is online. Now that you've confirmed the hub is online, we are now ready to begin pairing other Akara items in with the hub. If this video has been helpful, don't forget to drop a like and follow us to stay up to date with the latest content.